Welcome back, folks. We're returning to the Pit of a Hundred Trials, starting at floor 61. With all the level ups we've gotten from the Timeless Tomb DLC, Let's see if we're strong enough to fight the next Prince of Wraiths. Easily just off screen until we actually get to the um, desired floor. But nah, that's lame. Off screening is lame. I just want to see the exciting journey, right? I and mean, if you don't want to, then just cut, cut through the video. <laughs> no big deal. Since, uh, and they're actually gone through these floors proper like of the experience of a lifetime. Never really gone through these floors proper like, so But this lot of I should record it, you know. And Brack levels up, yay. Never turn down experience of a lifetime on a in a place that already gives you plenty of experience. Hi, Andrew. Alternatively, I shouldn't really waste all my time um, getting experience from these guys because I might end up dying to the Prince of Race anyway. Well, I suppose just in case, you know. Dragon, real quick. And he says so casually. Yeah, no offense, Tanny, but Bracken's a bit better and faster killing dragons. And he's already grounded, wow. And Tanny levels up. See, happy now, Tanny. Whatever, Bracken. Oh, seriously, there's more. Oh, it's one of these guys. Well, that was easy enough. Off we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
I keep missing those guys? My friends are killing them for me. And Evan Lulza. Experience really does matter. I forgot poison the gimmick now. Annoying, so annoying. Hey, at least my pick can kill me, baby. I'm only gonna have to worry about poison when we get down to uh, the Prince of Race room. I don't really use those other partners anymore. I still like how they how they get level still get levels level ups alongside us, even though they're not really taking part in the fights. Remember in the Mino Kuni one, after you got Marcus in and I swapped him out for Swain because Swain was so much weaker. I got a new pistol leaf book. Okay. Oh, it's from Mylas. Glimpse of her and her but I caught a glimpse of her in her back was turning me, but there is no mistaking the world of my homeland, Queen Maria. But what could she be doing so far from home, and in the labyrinth no less? Why would she put herself in such danger? So Queen Maria's down here? Okay, that's, uh, that's surprising.
Inks? Inke? Inks? I don't know how to pronounce that. Level Hundo! 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 Yes, power up, please! Dragon's kinda low on energy. This guy's a bit too sh this guy's a bit strong, I feel like. Uh, this guy feels a bit strong. But since Prince of Wraith's gonna come shortly after him, I'm a little bit worried that we're not gonna be strong enough. Well, at least Evan was able to heal up somehow. actually pretty strong. And because he was so strong, I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm fortunately I'm gonna leave. So I feel like the Prince of Raids is definitely gonna kill me. Like that dragon was at level 100. So I'm pretty sure the Prince of Race is gonna be much higher than that. Definitely higher than ours currently. So I'm gonna leave. And we definitely save our experience too. For the sake of a lengthy video, let's get started with the next, uh, Dreamer door. Even though we're probably gonna get killed in this one just as well. Elise, where have you gone? Where have they all gone? What has become of Allegoria? Why do I alone remain? Was that? Hmm. Well, he didn't take the blindest bit of notice of us. Let's go after him. Have the other memory lanes or anything to go by it? We'll learn more up ahead. This is new music. Kind of scary tribal music. Tanny, you should also get a level up soon. Just like so get your strength back. Wow, this music is way too intense, I swear! And 
And of course, the only people we'll talk to here are the ghosts, as expected. The horned one is no more, and the world is at peace. How long I have waited for this day. Finally, someone who's caught up with the times. We defeated the horned one. Twice. Can you please level up so that you don't die? Please? Have you heard? It seems Allegoria was completely wiped out after all. Some people survived. This is wonderful news. I hope they enjoy the long and happy life that I was denied. Some people survived? Well, I would hope so. That's what I was wondering. Like, Syngall, Millennia, and those other strange people, I feel like they're allegorians. This is based on, well, the fact that you don't really have a, a known home nation. Or they're at least allegorian descendants, because I think Allegoria disappeared, got destroyed, like, centuries ago. So they, those guys couldn't be direct Allegorians, they're probably descended from the Allegorians. So there'd have to be a few survivors, you know? And of course, the Lord himself. And Tiny leveled up, finally. Now she's all healed up. And Evan levels up too. He's all healed up now. And Baki levels up. At least there are any um, aerial creatures this time. That's good. This is becoming a real splash fest. It was you who revived the Great Blade, was it not? You mean the Sword of Unity? It is an item of immeasurable importance. You have done us a great service in restoring it to its true form. Hmm? Uh, can I help you? It is nothing less than a miracle that your path in the boy should have crossed. What are you talking about? Thank you and sorry. From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> because Roland is Deloren's counterpart. Oh. What the flippin' flip is that all about, man? Flippin' it! Boy, snap out of it! Don't just stand there with your gobs open! You got the high pigment to find! Oh. Um, of course, come on! I 
rumors of forbidden allegorian spell, one that grants eternal youth in exchange for one's humanity. Can some spell possibly exist? And if so, might someone like me be able to cast it? No, I don't know, but Deloren sure did. That's why he's, uh... Why he remained immortal, I guess. Rumors persist uh, that Deloren, King of Allegoria, is still alive and has been searching other dimensions for the Horned One. I find it hard to believe that he would do something so foolish. Everyone knows that once one has entered another dimension, there's no coming back. Time does not pass in other dimensions. Nothing's born, nothing dies, and nothing happens at all. Haha, <laughs> that look on your face. You shouldn't believe anything you hear, you know. Uh, don't worry, I kind of believe it, sort of. I mean, I have my own unique thoughts on other dimensions, anyway. Not affected by whether soulmates live or die, it seems. Their connections simply pass on to the next generation. That is the reason true, of course. That is the reason true, of course. But I suppose you'll never know for sure. How can one hope to prove something like that, after all? Let's go. I was wondering what that orb of darkness was for a second, but it's just a jellyfish. Level 113, that's pretty powerful. Knocked him out, buddy. Glad we took that little chance. I did that on purpose.
Yes, thank you, please. Thank you, please. Thank you, please. Yeah, now you're kind of doomed, buddy. You're kind of doomed now. Yep, I figured we had to find our way through here again. This is Allegoria, isn't it? Hey, it's them. What is it, Delorean? Elisa, I... I would speak with you of something important. Speak then, I will listen. It is a private matter. Meet with me at the King's Cradle. I'll make my way there now. Promise you will come. Quickly. Hmm. This must be a memory Alessandra and Deloren shared, which means this memory lane has taken us pretty far back in time. Which means we get to see what Allegory was like before it was destroyed! Let's go and have a look around, even though it's probably going to be the exact same as it is today, after it was restored. I mean, seriously, why would it be anything different? How is it going to reuse the same location? Off screen, I actually came back here to look for hidden chests hidden around these little alleyways. And I'm sure they they hid more hidden chests again since since we came back here anyway. Are they gonna make me kill all four of these creatures again? Oh my god, that is millennia! Technical officer number 1000? I've heard that people from other lands consider a keymaker a potential force for miserable evil. Such gall. Her power is beyond measure. That much is certainly true. But it's just that it might be used for ill. They'll pay the price for their insolence. One day they'll bow down before her and all. Okay, this officially proves it. Millennia and those other people are allegorians. This is undeniable proof. Here's uh, the spirit of an allegorian wearing Millennia's clothes. Oh my god, what more proof do you need? Okay, so these guys can make more enemies. Not that it matters, it just gives me more experience. Okay, in case you're not gonna make me fight for dark creatures again. We we were supposed to head south? It's like exploring this town is completely pointless. Unless we want to talk to uh the Allegorians, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. We came from the north, so we gotta go south. Okay. But how do I open this gate? Oh, it's just because we gotta push it open. Okay. Yeah, but there's no real other reason to explore the town unless we want to talk to other Allegorians, I guess.
Four legged beast bursts from a bad dream, doth await thee. Brace the sight for the savage storms it can whip up. Okay, okay, we're gonna fight another centaur. Let's just call them Lionels. So it's the two of them, interesting. Um, I'm wondering if I should actually fight it now. I think I'm gonna leave. <laughs> That's the second time I did that today. Or in this video. Dream on. Oh, that's that's hilarious. So, like, would it actually save all the cutscenes and junk that I already watched? Wonder, let's just go back in there just to see what happens. Do they, like, make you go... I mean, I would assume they make you go through the whole thing again, but do you have to fight, like, the, the, the arena battles again? That's what I'm kind of worried about. Either way, I don't think I... Like, defeating that golem was actually pretty tricky, so... I don't think I'll come back here until I'm a bit stronger. I don't want to take the chance and, uh, get killed by a centaur. It sounds like we're gonna fight another centaur. I'm a bit curious what the dialogue is, though, I'll tell you that. Since it's just those two. Dolores probably gonna, like, proclaim his love or something. Well, let's just do another arena. There's a jungle in there, and we're obviously going to fight another go-go gorilla by the name of Bog. Oh, now we got tiny centaurs. That is so cute. That is so flippin' cute. And bracket the up, yay. Yeah, wipe them all out, baby. Wipe them the hell out. Now wipe this guy the hell out. Yeah, I love there'd be another one right behind me, huh? Both Evan and Tanny level up. That's almost too coincidental, to be honest. Can 
gimme please, gimme please. Now, since we are in a jungle theme, I'm bringing Tanny back to her jungle warrior outfit. That's just beautiful. I think I like this outfit the best on Tanny. She looks, she just looks so strong and beautiful in this. Some more small fry, okay. Good luck, everyone. Roland leveled up. Oh, a giant wolf, okay. Fox who leveled up. Even if the wolves hide on the very clouds themselves, Tanny will still snipe you, because she is a pro huntress. A pro pirate huntress, that is. Ha ha ha. Wow, that was really short and easy. I like it. Hello, Go Go Gorilla. You actually seem pretty small for a Go Go Gorilla. And you're knocked down. You're actually a pr you're actually a pretty small gorilla, and it's actually kind of cute.
Pin, you're knocked down again. How beautiful. How perfect. And you're dizzied again, yay. No. Perfect, I'm all healed up, didn't have to waste an item or anything. <laughs> Sucker. That wasn't too difficult at all. I might. All those items we get, seriously. S rank. The dress was fine and everything. I quite dig this forest outfit a lot more. <laughs> I think it really suits you, Tanny. Who knows? I might get married in this. Eh. Water fight. Okay, now we're gonna have water enemies. Oh, the S rank time is lowered down to 14 minutes. Ah. Ah. Alright then, see you later.